In all caps, what is the trick that fooled Oscar Owen? Have you ever failed doing a magic trick? Yes is the answer to that. I failed tricks so many times. But here's how you rescue any magic trick. How much do you earn from YouTube? Gosh, I get that one all the time. And the answer to that question is, what is the best magic trick to do to impress a girl? Well, here's the secret. Hey, what's up everyone? Oscar Owen here, and I just want to say a huge thank you for 900,000 followers. I can't even comprehend how many people that is, but I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who subscribe to the channel. But I've realized recently that one thing that I've never done is just sit down in front of the camera and answer any questions that you might have about me, about the channel, about magic. So what I did was I just headed over to the community tab and I just asked you guys if you've got any questions that you want me to answer. And given the sheer number Number of responses, I think this video is a tad overdue. So let's get to answering your questions. So the first question is, how old are you and where are you from? So I'm 23 years old, I live in London and I've been at Durham University for the past three years, but I've just graduated as of this year. So the second question is, how did you start learning magic? Um, so unfortunately I didn't get a letter from Hogwarts when I was 11 years old, so I couldn't go and learn magic there. So I did the next best thing, which was go on YouTube and learn tricks from YouTube. So I would sit down in my room, I'd practice tricks over and over again, I would really, really get them down, and then someone would say, hey Oscar, show me a trick, and I would be too scared to show them the magic trick. So what I did was basically question why I'd spent the last two years of my life learning all these magic tricks when I was too scared to show them to anyone. Then eventually, I was in a restaurant somewhere and someone just convinced me to show a magic trick to the waiter. So eventually I did it. I was absolutely terrified. I remember like shaking and being really nervous. But I pulled off the trick, the waiter was amazed, and from that moment onwards, I was just hooked. But to answer your question, I actually learned magic from YouTube. The next question is, what trick do you wish you could do? That's a really interesting one, and I'd say the trick that I wish I could do is, is less of a trick and more a demonstration of skill, but it's called the human water spout. So you might have seen David Blaine doing this, but basically what happens is, you drink like two liters of water, and then you store it in your stomach, and then whenever you want to, you can regurgitate that water out in like a massive spout of water. And I just think it looks so cool. And I think it'd be really funny to just be at like a party or an event or something, have a nice conversation with someone, excuse yourself in the garden, go and spout out like two liters of water or something to water their plants, and then just come back and continue the trick. If you get really good at this, then you can start to do things like regurgitate frogs like David Blaine does as well. I don't think I'd be wanting to do that because it just sounds like uh, animal cruelty. And I think the RSPCA would have an issue with that. Anyway, I think it's an amazing trick. And again, only a handful of people can actually do this trick. If you see someone doing water spouting, just know that there's only about 30, 40 people in the world who can actually do that magic trick. Can you do a magic trick right now? Of course, I wouldn't be a magician if I couldn't. So I hope this isn't focused, but right here I've got a playing card. All you've got to do is watch the card. You've got to really watch, 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 and it will obviously turn into a watch. If you think you know how that works, let me know in the comments. Ooh, the next question is, what is your favorite deck of cards? Now that's really hard to answer because there are so many great decks of cards out there, but if I had to choose one, it's the Arrow deck by Card Mafia. I'll quickly go and get it now and show you what it looks like. So this is the deck of cards. You can see it's absolutely beautifully made, but the, the really cool thing is how it opens up. So look at this. So the deck opens up in this fan-like way and it's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I've done magic tricks with this deck of cards before and people are more interested in the deck than they are in the actual trick. So if you're looking for a really fun, easy way to impress anyone you like without even doing any magic, just get one of these decks. It's the Arrow deck of cards by Card Mafia. And yeah, they're absolutely beautiful and it's a proper work of art. So the next question is, have you ever failed doing a magic trick? Yes, is the answer. I failed so many times doing magic. I failed in front of my friends, in front of my family, in front of strangers. I failed on stage in front of like 40 people before. In fact, I may as well tell you that story. So I was doing a stage show in front of about 40 people and to begin with, everything was going really well, thumbs up. 
anyway, what then happened was I was going to close the show with a hypnotism act. So what I planned to do, and planning is the operative word here because this did not go to plan, was I wanted to bring someone on stage, I wanted to hypnotise them and make them forget their name, forget how to walk and forget how to count from 1 to 10. So I bring a guy on stage and his name's David and I hypnotise him, I'm in front of 40 people, everyone's hanging on my every single word, I make him wake up and then I say, what is your name? And he looks at me, he smiles, he knows the act's gone wrong, and he just goes, my name is David. And there's just this silence in the crowd because obviously what I've just done has gone completely wrong. But me being about 18 years old and not knowing any better, I just decide to keep going with this act. So I then tell him to count from one to 10 and I let everyone know that he won't be able to do this. Obviously he then just counts from one to 10 perfectly and the audience just sits there going, I don't even know why we showed up to this show. At this point I'm panicking and I'm thinking of different ways to try and save the show. So what I do is I just whisper in David's ear and I say, David, if you go along with this, I'll give you 50 quid at the end of the show. So David sort of smiles and he goes along with it. So I try and hypnotize him again. He wakes up, he forgets his name. He can't count from one to 10. He can't even walk in a straight line and the crowd loves it. So at this point, the show has been saved and this act just kills. But here's the thing, David goes and sits down and I do a few more acts to finish off the show. And then at the very end of the show, I get David to stand back up again. And I say to him in front of everyone, I say, David, you're still under my influence at the moment. And you're gonna believe that I owe you 50 pounds. And it doesn't matter how many times you tell your friends and family that I owe you 50 pounds, I don't owe you any money. Then I make him sit down and that was that. Anyway, as David leaves the show, he's obviously trying to tell people that he was in on it and I owe him 50 quid and that's what we agreed. And all his friends and family were like, no, 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 that's just part of the act. That's what Oscars made you believe. And it was just a really sneaky and quite funny way to basically cover up your tracks when a magic trick has gone wrong. But the moral of the story is if a magic trick does go wrong, always prepare for that scenario and have an out. So the next question is, what is the trick that fooled Oscar Owen? Okay, I wanna to be totally honest about this. Um, so many people have asked me, what is the trick that fooled Oscar Owen? And the answer is that I've never actually been fooled by a magic trick. Of course I'm joking, magic tricks fool me all the time, but there's one magic trick that I just have no idea how it works, and it's called the Burglar's Effect. Now the Burglar's Effect is referred to by many magicians as the holy grail of card magic because people just don't know how it works. So the idea is it's, it's the best version of an any card, any number magic trick. So for those of you who don't know, the any card, any number is basically you've got a deck of cards, the spectator can name any number and any card. So let's just say they say uh, 23 and seven of hearts and then they open up the deck and the seven of hearts is the 23rd card. What David Burglis managed to do was this magic trick on national television under impossible conditions. So he never touches the cards. It's a borrowed shuffled deck of cards. The spectator names any number, any playing card and without even touching them, the number and card they name perfectly match. And I've no idea how it works. Only a handful of magicians in the world actually know how this trick works. And unfortunately, I'm not one of them. So in my opinion, there's absolutely no possible way this magic trick can work, with the exception of the fact that David Burglis must have superpowers because that's the only logical explanation. The next question is, I love all your magic tricks, Oscar, but I just wanna know how long does it take you to make a video? That's a really good question and it really varies on the type of video I'm creating. So if I'm creating a really cinematic video with a cool introduction, that might take me about three or four days to make, just the introduction alone, and then another couple of days to film the trick, and then another day to like actually edit it as well. So a video can take anywhere like up to a week to make, which is one of the reasons why I don't upload videos all the time on this channel consistently, just because life gets in the way and it takes so long to make each video and I really want to make the quality the best of the best for you guys to watch it. But at the moment I am experimenting with some other types of video formats so I'm doing shorts and I'm doing tricks that don't have the really cinematic introduction and if you like these kind of videos where I just sit down and talk to the camera and answer your questions we can do more of this kind of stuff and if you want to know more about confidence or presentation or all those different things in magic 
Um, let me know in the comments and I can start doing more videos like this where I speak to you on like a more one-to-one -one basis. How much do you earn from YouTube? Oh God, I get this one all the time. And my answer is I, I don't really like talking about money. Like I understand why people are really interested. You know, I'd, I'd love to know how much Mr. Beast makes from a brand deal or something. But I don't know, money is the sort of thing which I would never ask someone else how much they make. So I'm gonna have to plead the fifth on this one and go to the next question. What is the best magic trick to do to impress a girl? Well, here's the secret. The secret is you don't focus on the trick, you focus on your presentation. Now, before you just skip on and hate that answer, hear me out on this one because I know what I'm talking about. So if you wanna impress guy, girl, friend, stranger, it doesn't matter who, you need to really focus on your presentation. Presentation makes up 80% of a magic trick and 20% is the actual trick itself, right? So I could give you the best magic trick in the world, but if you present it in a really boring and uninspiring way, that trick is just boring and uninspiring. If you, I gave you a really average trick, but you've got comedy in there, you've got suspense, you've got timing, you've got everything that goes into a good magic trick, you can turn it into like a true miracle. So my answer to your question is it doesn't matter what trick you do, just make sure you spend loads of time practicing how you do it. And I promise you, it doesn't matter who you show the trick to, you will blow them away if you put time and effort into your presentation. That being said, check out a playlist on my channel, which is called The World's Greatest Card Tricks, and any of the tricks in there will blow anyone's mind. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's not the kind of thing that I normally do, but it's good fun just to try something different out. And going forward, I can answer more of your questions and do more videos like this if it's something you like. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.